It's the year 1963. A 35 year old man, looking extremely desperate and anxious, walks into a Detroit car dealership and begs the skeptical sales manager for a job as a salesman. He sold a car on his first day at work, giving him a sigh of relief, as until then he had only seen failure, poverty, domestic abuse, and his family had nothing to eat. Little did he know that he was on his way to become the world's greatest salesman. Joseph Girardi was the son of Antonino Girardi, an extremely poor man of Sicilian birth, and his wife a homemaker. Girardi worked from early childhood. A high school dropout, he started working as a shoe shine boy and then worked as a newspaper boy for the Detroit Free Press, dishwasher, delivery boy, stove assembler, and home building contractor. It seemed like he has done it all. The initial struggle began with his own father, Antonino Girardi, an extremely poor man who found no success in his new country that is the USA and vented his bitterness both physically and emotionally upon his younger son. Joe often speculated as to whether his father's behavior was a carefully planned campaign of a man who was desperately wishing to challenge his son. Whatever the truth, the senior Gerardi chose to constantly berate his son with the message that Joe would never amount to anything worthwhile. This was Joe's first spark, the determination to prove that his father had been wrong. At the same time, Joe's mother fed him her constant love and belief that indeed Joe was capable of succeeding in life. This was Joe's second spark to show his mother that her love and judgment had not been misplaced. As a member of a poor family, Joe would often try to find new jobs and he did a lot of odd jobs like polishing shoes of his rich customers outside of a nightclub and sold newspapers in the morning but was never able to complete his school as he picked up a fight with the teacher who suspended the young Joe for him to never return to school ever again. Dispirited and aimless, Joe joined the United States Army Infantry at a mere age of 18 in a hope that this would mean something to him and maybe this can possibly a new start to his life. But just after joining the Army, 97 days later, Joe fell from the rear of a speeding military vehicle and badly injured his back. He was given an honorary discharge after he admitted that he had previously injured his back during his school times. As time went by, Joe went from one unsatisfactory job to another and now he was 35 years old with a family but nothing to eat and that's when he reached for a job in a Chevrolet car dealership, thereby turning his fortunes forever. Joe had a natural knack for selling and in his second month he would go on to prove just that by selling 18 cars and trucks and was finally feeling very secure. But much to his amazement, the owner of the dealership fired him for being too aggressive. Some of the other salesmen had complained about him out of jealousy which led the owner to fire Joe. It was a setback indeed. But at this point, Joe knew he could sell cars. He had proved it to himself and was ready to prove it to the whole world, including Antonino Girardi. Joe quickly found employment at another Chevrolet dealership in East Point, Michigan, doing what he did better than anyone else in the world, selling automobiles. With time, Joe kept on getting better and better at the trade and for 12 straight years, Joe sold more new retail cars and trucks than any other salesperson ever. Sometimes he sold more as an individual than most dealers sell in total. No other salesperson has ever retained this title for more than a year and not for both cars and trucks. After becoming the greatest salesman ever and making a great fortune for himself, as well as his family, he had proved that finally he's worth something. But he was not done yet, as his years of experience were too invaluable to be wasted. Hence, he became an author and started writing books. 
In total, Joe Girard authored and co-authored five books, namely How to Sell Anything to Anybody, How to Sell Yourself, How to Close Every Sale, Mastering Your Ways to the Top, and Joe Girard's 13 Essential Rules of Selling. Girard was also nominated for his achievements, namely the Golden Plate Award from the American Academy of Achievement, and he was also nominated for the Horatio Alger Award by the late Dr. Norman Vincent and the late Lowell Thomas. And gentlemen, I want to thank you for tuning in to hear a few pointers on how I became the world's number one retail salesman, and may I add, in the toughest business in the world. Selling automobiles is tough, but for me, it's the easiest thing I think I ever did because I learned my profession. Thank you guys for watching and if you like what we do then subscribe to marketing stories for more and see you next time.